All right, so what do we have here? What do we have here to get started with? Um, I've already built this little platform here. Uh, this is going to be kind of the, the center and beginning of the, the whole deal. Um, this will be where the water will be stored in uh, beginning with one 55-gallon drum and then future plans to either convert to an IBC tote or use at least two 55-gallon drums. Um, I've cleaned up this area a little bit, built some little uh, um, supports for various items that were all just kind of piled up in this corner. So I've been able to clean this up and, well, kind of uh, organize as best as possible and make some room for this. So what are we doing here? Well, if we walk down the, the row here, we've got these horse stalls, what used to be horse stalls. They're going to be our pig stalls for the winter here until we can get our main pasture finished. And, oh, another stall to clean out. They're very dirty. And our chickens are coming in and out because they live out there in that pasture. So we've got uh, an area here where we're going to need some water for pigs. And I've got another stall here that we may have goats or pigs in at some point. We'll need water in there. And then the last spot here is the the pole barn chicken coop. And so coming in here, where all of our beautiful random breed chickens are, we have a, a nice, nice solid wall here. And look at that. That is what people use for watering their chickens. It's awful. Hauling water out here and uh, cleaning this thing. Look at that. That's what they drink out of. You can't keep it clean. There's no way. Even if you hang it up, they still get it dirty somehow. So we're going to make a new watering system. So let's dig in, and I'm going to take you through the whole process here, and then we'll do a two-roll and we're done.
All right, the chicken, actually this is a whole barn watering system. It doesn't just serve the chickens, it serves the whole barn. So um, it starts with the, the basically the water holding tank. Um, this is a 55 gallon drum. Eventually this will be, have an auto fill valve on it and it will auto fill from like a, a rain collection system outside or we don't have water out here yet. I have to, this long story, but the water is broken out here. I have to fix that. And so eventually this will be um, autom automatically filled. Um, right now I do have to haul buckets of water out and I just dump it in and keep this filled and then it services the, the whole barn. Uh, in the bottom here I've got a submersible pump, probably can't see uh, down there. Uh, I did start off with this Aquion uh, 2300 which was my aquaponics pump. Um, awesome pump but it does not have the lift that I needed. Um, this one only lifts about seven feet, and I've got uh, from the bottom of the barrel there all the way up to my first 90, I've got uh, probably nine feet, uh, maybe eight feet. So uh, I'm gonna get a new pump. The pump that I have in there right now is actually the one that was used for the garage, uh, the wood burning garage heater. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link to the top there. And that's a bit, it's, it's over, oversized. It's a fifth horsepower, it's like a 300 watt, you know, it's, it's a, I don't know what it is, a thousand or 1500 or 1800 gallons per hour is what it was. Uh, way, way, way oversized. So there's a little too much pressure in the system right now, um, but certainly not gonna freeze. <laughs> so that's, a, that's, that's one, one benefit. I also have the heating element in the bottom. You can see a little red light on down there. Now this is just a 50 watt aquarium heater um, and as that water is circulating around in here, it keeps it uh, from freezing. I may upgrade that to 100 or 150 watt uh, um, heater. Uh, we'll see. So, cat's getting her claws stuck on her, his claws stuck on everything. But uh, so basically, what that does is it pumps the water through the piping here and then up and over. And this is my first uh, diversion valve. And so, this is actually the pig stall where our, our new little American guinea hogs are. Um, man, I've got lots to say about them, but I'll save that for another video. Uh, so the diverter basically right now is not hooked up to anything, but eventually there'll be a loop in here that will come down to a pig watering system, which I'll do another video on. And uh, right now it's closed, but uh, we can switch that valve in the middle there and it'll divert water through that loop and then back on, on its way. Um, goes all the way down along the wall here and I got a little bit of a sag in the piping. I got to put a support on that, straighten it out. Um, but this comes down here and this stall is not being utilized right now, really. Uh, but if I had goats or some other animals in here, I could put another watering system there and then just add a, add a diverting, uh, diverting valves at the top. But uh, this goes all the way down to the end here. Down at the end here is the pole barn chicken coop. Um, this is the temporary uh, chicken coop quarters or chicken quarters, whatever you want to call it, uh, for our chickens that were given to us before we had time to actually build a coop. And so we have about 40, 40 chickens in here right now. i have had a few that were lost in various ways. But uh, the watering uh, piping comes, on, comes in over here and uh, same type of diverter valve so I can open the, the bypass and close these two valves and that will just bypass the water right back and so it'll circulate, it won't freeze, but I can turn the system off if I want. Right now it's turned on, so the water just runs down into the actual watering system. Now this is very similar to what I set up on my, my Suburban Chicken Coop. It has the uh, chicken drippers underneath it. The chicken drippers are, leaking a little bit now and spraying a little bit when the chickens are drinking out of them because that pump I have is way, way, way overpowered. So there's a little too much pressure behind them. But uh, the chickens do, uh, they, they learned how to use them very, very quickly. Uh, so these chickens have never seen these before. I just put the, I just finished this last night and they've all, all figured it out. But you can see the, the water spraying, spraying there. That's that is not how these are supposed to work. They're supposed to be less than five PSI. And uh, so I've got to, got to order that new pump and get that fixed. <laughs> they're making quite a mess in here. Uh, but they're still getting a drink, so it'll work. So these chicken drippers are actually really amazing for chickens. If you don't have them, I highly recommend. I'll put a link in the description to these, the chicken drippers or chicken nipples uh, over on Amazon. 
they're very easy to set up and uh, man do they make watering chickens super easy so um, and uh, the chickens obviously they figured out right away so once they see one of them they'll peck at them they're shiny anyway so but uh, <laughs> We're making quite a mess in here with that. It's like a hose coming out of there. Um, generally, with the pressure correct on the uh, chicken drippers, they will not leak at all. There'll be some small drippage, uh, but uh, generally they, they don't leak um, and they don't spray all over. So you have very little waste with these, uh, with the uh, correct pressure uh, on them anyway. So that is the, the system. Um, I do like how it turned out. I do like how it's working. Uh, as with anything I build, there always are things I wish I would do differently or could do differently and um, uh, adjustments need to be made and things like that. So I will do a follow up with these guys um, and I'm going to add the pig uh, watering system and all that good stuff. We may have goats out here at some point too. So, But uh, that's the deal. That's the, the, whole, the whole barn watering system. It's very versatile. I can keep adding pipes to it. I can add, uh, no, cat, get out of there. No, get out of there. Oh, kittens. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know a little bit longer, uh, but uh, kind of a lot I wanted to go through with this. Uh, this is going to be kind of the base video for this, uh, this system and uh, eventually I'll be adding on to it and the rain collection and um, adding other animals and we may have rabbits in here in a rabbit hutch area and that, that will be all serviced by this thing. So this watering system will, will service every animal or water need that we'll have in, in the barn here. So, uh, but hopefully you guys li liked it. Please leave uh, feedback down below. Um, I know there's a lot of things that I need to change and upgrade along the way here, but if you guys see anything or have ideas, I'd, I'd love to hear them. Uh, that's how I, I learn and um, come up with uh, more ideas. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.